Well, they call him the Motown phenom, Kevin Lee. Not a prospect anymore. He's a guy who has fought for the UFC interim lightweight title. He has flirted with the 170-pound waters. Still trying to get that total game together, but there's no denying the athlete there in Kevin Lee. But he possesses. He possesses all of that skill. Kevin Lee has tremendous wrestling ability. Kevin Lee has tremendous striking. He's a big, strong, powerful guy. Even if you look back to his UFC title fight, he was on top of Tony Ferguson in the mount, dominated until late in the fight he ended up getting submitted. But he is a guy that when everything goes right, on the night, he can beat anybody. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns yeah. right away. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 7 losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Kevin, the Motown Phenom Lee. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. Okay, guys, protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Out stylistic. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches this matchup. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge in reach. Shot is blocked there by Lee. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Oh, nice jab. Unable to connect with the right. There's no give on that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. Plus right hand is true. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Nice 
nice head kick. Lee gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. Nice looping punch. Caught that kick there. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Gotta start raising that guard or this is gonna be the end of the fight. I mean, it's gonna be the end of the fight. It's very surprising that he's even standing upright after taking such a bad shot. Try to establish that jab. Hip over when he throws that kick. He is throwing a fast, straight, hard jab. That's not a feeler jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. That's a big strike right there. Lee's head kick is blocked, so no damage inflicted there. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. You may want to start checking some of these. can finish. Well, he misses with the left punch there. Big head kick lands. He is all about that left kick to the body. Telegraph that spinning back fist. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap it. Kick blocked by Lee. Leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Back and forth we go. Lee's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swelling. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Didn't see it coming because he does such a great job of just throwing. He doesn't have any tell when he's gonna throw a knee. Lee's uppercut, but that one is blocked. Nice leg kick lands. Nice body. Oh, nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. John, it doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now the ground and pound starts. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Straight right is there. 20 seconds left. Big kick lands. Just misses with the right. That at least partially landed. Oh my goodness, he got kicked in the head and he's still standing. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, He's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. All right, we'll see how it goes here in this next round. A high number of kicks landed there in the previous round. And at some point, these are going to really start to take their turn. They do start to take an effect whenever you're taking kick after kick after kick. And watching him fight with that knowledge and that patience shows his fight IQ. Good punch land. Upstairs. Oh, 
Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice straight punch there to his opponent, and he lands it just after catching the leg. So clearly, he is starting to find his timing, not just offensively, but defensively as well. Very good read there. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Wow. Lunges forward with a left there. Big body kick land. Oh, nice strike landed there by Lee. Huge block there. Real quick leg kick. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. Goes back to that left kick once again. Lee's lower jaw is just nasty at this point. Really swollen in that area now. Got clipped with the right hand. Blocks the shot. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Spinning back fist. Oh, combination lands, and it seemed like almost every strike found the target. He's so accurate when he decides to attack. It is a sight to behold. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Just missing on the high oh, kick. Oh, that was so nice. What a beautiful kick. Lee getting worked here from the top. You don't want to take too many more of these ground and pound strikes. Big ball punch land. Now we get back to range. Oh, wow! Head kick. Nice connection on the counter punch there, and oftentimes DC can be easier to be a counter striker when you have such a pronounced edge and reach. That shot is blocked by Lee. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Lee gets caught with that punch. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Big head kick. Big power shot there. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. 30 seconds to go in the round. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, nice straight left there. Beautiful leg kick throw. Ten minutes in the books. That horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. 
All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep his own. He'll look to keep winning the fight with his kicks. He's throwing eye kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. And he lands a kick to the leg now. Pretty good work on the feet tonight by Lee. Ooh, what a punch. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Sneaky head kick. Unable to connect with the right hand there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here, really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Just out of range with that right hook. Nice strike. They continue to exchange. Counter left. Knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. Somehow stays in the fight. And he landed the right hand there. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good thing. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. Let's go. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. He does everything so well, and he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. I mean, he's cutting him down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish his fight. Oh, nice, nice. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words truly really prophetic right there. I mean, his fits and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Oh, nice knees to the body. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Very nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh! Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets hit by that leg kick. Able to check that kick as well. Some serious bruising going on. Oh. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize time. And now he's got a hurt bad. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landed. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. 
great punch landing and so much power. Popping the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks in the previous round, we'll see if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. That was stuck in. Nice try. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pull it down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar. He hurt him. Throws the right hand there. There. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. He's looking to land the right just out of range. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Right, let's go. Let's get those Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Just over three minutes to go. Beautiful head kick. Not there. All right, less than three minutes remain in round four. And they separate. What a punch. Real sneaky body kick. Well, no surprises, he connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking, you can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. He just keeps making his split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kid. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Trying to inflict some damage here, but misses with the kick. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Quick hip movement there, and he does indeed get back to his feet nicely done. Oh, and there it is, one of the best back takers in the sport. Took his back there, now we'll see what he can do. Now he's in imminent danger. Now he is in trouble, because he will take his time. He will start to force him into making mistakes. He'll punch, punch, punch. The moment the guy starts worrying too much about the strikes, he will take his neck and try to find the submission victory. Fourth round here, less than a minute to go. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got him in the corner. Whoa! Whoa! Nix is in an elbow there. Now he's on 
Bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. 20 minutes down, potentially five to go. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Head kick lands. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Nice slip to avoid the left. Lee going for the head kick. He misses there. You don't really stand after you take a head kick like this. That is such toughness to even be on his feet right now. Oh! Oh, straight right. Visibly limping here. Big kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Oh, here's a kick to the body. Blocked, though, by Lee. And he lands the knee to the body now. Big kick lands. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Big body kick. Well, he put so much stock into this fight, and now we're late in the game, and if he doesn't get a finish, this opportunity goes by the board. I mean, it's almost over. Right now, he's got to start throwing everything he can find at his opponent and hope that he can force a mistake and overwhelm his opponent to try to get a finish. Liver kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Pretty good right hand. Lands with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. Oh, big head kick. Oh, nice. Ooh, what a punch. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Powerful leg kick land. Well, the body work starting to take its toll. Look at the redness starting to appear on his left side. Oh, nice right here. Nice head kick. Man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shin into his opponent. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by... Oh, that was a big takedown. Is this the one that's going to break him? Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Lee. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Lee's kick is blocked. Can't take many of those, you better check. One minute to go in the fight. Well, 
Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Good stick. Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Able to land with the left hand there. Final 10 seconds of the fight. Whoa! Let's look back at some of the action, DC. They go the distance tonight, but you got to think he won over the judges with his striking acumen. Yeah, you got to watch one of the best strikers in the entire UFC. He did everything so well, and in my opinion, he should cruise to a very easy decision. decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest. 50-45. Play the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Right, so the judges are in agreement tonight. He is your winner by unanimous decision. Certainly pretty easy fight to score, I thought. Yeah, I thought it was an easy fight to score. Whereas his opponent had a 